Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I feel like my videos have been very long lately between my declutters and a couple of other long-winded videos. They've definitely been on the longer side. So today I'm switching it up. I have a shorter video to share with you guys because I'm sharing my BoxyCharm for April. I was going to switch it up and do a try-on unboxing, which I don't typically do on my channel just because I like to keep my unboxings a little bit shorter, but I've gotten some requests to do one. So I planned on filming that today, but my husband is currently working from home. He actually works in the room right next to me so we can hear each other. When we're talking at the same time and when he's on a call I can't film and when I'm filming he can't be on a call so the way that our schedules worked out today I just figured I would get ready earlier while he was working so when he had a break from that I could film as quickly as possible anyways because I was planning on filming a try on I did take a look inside my boxes to see what I would need for the video so I did test out a product which I'll talk about in a second but my boxes are the exact same I have two regular boxycharm boxes I do pay for my own subscription every month and then boxycharm sometimes sends me one in the mail as PR but because they are the exact same I'll definitely be giving away one to one of you guys so just check the description box below if you are interested in entering if you guys aren't familiar with BoxyCharm it is a monthly beauty subscription box so they have the regular base box which I'll be talking about today they have an upgraded version which is BoxyCharm premium and then they also have the option for BoxyLux every three months so I'll put more information in the description box below including a link to their website I always like to check the website to see if they're offering a free gift with purchase for new members. That way, if you guys were planning on signing up, you can also get that additional product. Oh, the eyeshadow palette this month is so pretty. It's actually one that I kind of thought about. It's the Violet Voss Sugar Crystals Palette. So you can get that if you use the code Sweet Treat for free in addition to your box, or you can also get a skincare product if you use the code Revitalize. I haven't tried that skincare product by the brand Symbiosis London, but it is a $133 value. So I'll put that information in the description box below. And let's jump into it and I'll share at the April box with you. Okay, so the theme this month is festival vibes. And like I told you guys, there is a product that I decided to test out. When I saw this in the box, I was curious to try it. And even though I didn't do a try on video, I thought I would still use it and let you guys know what I thought. So this is the Zoeva Caramel Melange Palette. And I haven't tried anything from Zoeva, but it is a brand that I've been really curious about for a while. So I was excited to see this in my box. So this palette comes with 10 shadows. I'll do a close up and let you guys know which shades I used. I used the shade Universal Delight to set my eyeshadow primer into place. And then I used Alchemy and Aftertaste to blend into my crease. I was kind of planning on like an all orangey look, but after that I decided to deepen things up. So I used the shade Edible Gem, which is a brown with some shimmer in it. Once you apply the shadow to the eyes, you don't see the shimmer. I took the shade Liquid Center and applied that all over my lid. And then I highlighted the brow bone with the shade wax paper. And then I just blended some variation of those matte shadows on my lower lash line, and this is how the look turned out. I really like the metallic shadows in this palette. They are so smooth and soft and beautiful. I think if you are a fan of like one eyeshadow looks, these metallics would be perfect because they're just very creamy and easy to work with. I feel like the matte shadows are a little bit thinner than I thought they were going to be, and I feel like that's a weird way to describe powder shadows, but some powder shadows are heavier and they're really rich and intense. I'm thinking like the Juvia's Place shadows or maybe even the Natasha Denona matte shadows. So those shadows are so rich and I feel like sometimes I have to work to really blend them out. These are kind of the opposite. They blend well, they're pretty powdery, but I feel like they're not as rich as I would like them to be. So I did have to build the colors up quite a bit to get the intensity that I was looking for. So that's something I wanted to throw out there. If you tend to prefer more of an everyday shadow that isn't super rich and over the top, I think you'll enjoy this formula. The colors are beautiful. I think this palette will be great for spring and summer if you love warm tones. I think there were a couple of different Zoeva palettes going out this month. So if you guys get a different palette or you have another Zoeva recommendation, I would love to hear from you. I totally should have tested these out with the eyeshadow palette as well. These are brushes by the brand Lavish. It looks like you get a little five piece set and let's see, they look pretty small. Like they look like they would be great for detail work, which I feel like that's the type of brush I'm always looking for. Either brushes like this or like good fluffy crease brushes. You guys, I washed all of my makeup brushes this past weekend and normally I dread that because it takes so long, but I saw this trick on Twitter from Jamie Genevieve and it worked so well. It cut the time that it takes me to wash my brushes in half. So you take like a little mesh drainer and you fill a bowl up with water and whatever you use to wash your brushes and swirl it around inside the mesh drainer and it gets your brushes so clean. Even foundation brushes, even brushes that have like purple eyeshadow on them. I could not believe how well it worked and I have a lot of brushes and I think maybe it took me 
like an hour total. I was honestly blown away. So I was so excited about that. But anyways, back to the subject at hand. These are really cute. They are like little metallic, no, metallic is not the right word, neon, little neon brushes. I think I might actually save these for when I do like really colorful looks because a lot of colorful shadows will stain my brushes. And because these kind of look colorful on top, I think these will be perfect. The next thing in here is by the brand Iconic London and it is their Illuminator. I'm actually very curious to try this out. So this is not a product that I would typically purchase, but when I did my unboxing, I think like two months ago, I got an eyeshadow palette from Iconic London and I got a few comments saying that you guys love their Illuminator. So I think that this is what you were talking about. The card says that it is a concentrated liquid shimmer that you can add to your foundation, primer, or moisturizer, or you can just use it as like a liquid highlighter. So I had something like this from the brand Cover FX, but it was so intense that even when I mixed it in with foundation, it made my skin kind of have this like metallic sheen that was not flattering on me. But because this one is a little bit more subtle, I actually think I could get on board with this. So that was like a tiny little bit. Let me add a little bit more because yeah, you could probably get like a pretty intense sheen if that's what you're looking for, but this feels so smooth. It just feels like a nice product. Even though I like a good matte base, there's something about like a healthy glow to your skin that just looks so pretty. I even feel like I could probably use this with like a damp beauty sponge and just kind of lightly apply it to my cheeks. Okay, the next thing in here is by the brand Illuminati. We got two of their gel paint. Are these eyeliners or lip liners? It comes with the shades electric pink and electric blue. So I'm assuming they're eyeliners, but you never know. Okay, so let me swatch these. Ooh, the pink one is super intense. I actually don't know if I have a pink eyeliner that looks like this at all. The blue one looks like something that I might have in my collection, but these are super creamy. They actually feel like the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencils, which have been my go-to. So this is what the pink one looks like, and this is what the blue one looks like. Let me, yeah, they're pretty creamy, so they do smudge out easily. Like, this is the type of eyeliner that I would like to use to kind of smudge on my lower lash line, or you could probably use them as, like, a cream base. Okay, I've given these a second to dry down. They don't seem like they dry down. They're definitely more on the creamy side. So these are going to be more ideal if you like to smudge eyeshadow on your lower lash line or you like something really creamy and blendable rather than something that dries down and stays in place all day. The last thing in here is the Benefit Professional Pore Primer. Benefit is not cruelty free, so I'll just be donating this product, but it kind of brings me back to those old school YouTube days. I feel like everybody was obsessed with this product and they used it every single time they got ready. I haven't heard about this in a long time. If you are looking for a good cruelty-free primer that just kind of minimizes the appearance of pores, I've been loving the Ulla Henriksen Banana Bright Primer. Actually, I do have an extra one of those because I got one in my Trend Mood box and I do own that product, so I will include it in the giveaway so you guys can test that one out as well because I love it. That one's a great option, but I also like the Catrice Keep Me Matte Primer. That one's great too if you're looking for a good cruelty-free option. So anyways, that is the end of my video. Okay, the total retail value of this box was $172.99, which is pretty high. So I love that we got brushes because I always like getting brushes. And I am looking forward to trying out this illuminator because it's not something that I would typically purchase for myself. So I love that I did get it in a subscription box. The eyeshadow palette is nice and I've been wanting to test out some products from Zoeva. So those are the three products that I am most excited about. What did you guys think about this box? For me, I definitely think it was worth $25 because I think I would have tried a Zoeva eyeshadow palette at some point and those are more than $25. And I am excited to test out some of these other products. So for me, the base box is still a great option. I know that BoxyCharm Premium and Boxy Lux have been amazing, but if those are a little bit too expensive for you or you just don't want to have that many products every month, the regular base box might still be a great option. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys very soon with a new one. Bye.